Hey, hey friends, and welcome to Friend Talk Podcast with your host, Cicely and Shamika. Two country girls from way down south, West Memphis, Arkansas to be exact, who happen to be friends and 911 dispatchers. Since we all have the same basic needs and are all on similar journeys, sometimes it just helps to have a friend to talk to about the everyday issues that plague us all. We're not therapists or self-help gurus, but we hope that by opening up a real conversation, we can all find some common ground and a safe space to heal, share, and build toward future greatness. So come on. Let's jump into today's topic. Let's go. Ready, hey, hey friends. friends, and welcome back to Free Talk Podcast with your host Cicely and you gonna say it? Like you gonna say it? Hey, I'm saying. <laughs> Look, we're gonna go straight into part, part two. Duh. Oh, okay, part two. Remember, remember that movie? What that movie hard, not that yeah. hard. That one. It, it, it was, was a something. funny one. It was, it was a funny part okay. two. Part two. All right, we're going straight in. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about relationships. In the workplace as a dispatcher, which is officer dispatcher relationship. I'm not gonna say dispatcher dispatcher because I don't we don't work with a lot of men in dispatch. So we're gonna do officer dispatcher, right? And I'm just gonna start off. And we're just gonna talk. We just we we still continuing with the yes. whole dispatch. Your so pros, cons, other, everything. Yeah, other things might come up, but we want to go into the after dark. After do you dark have your part, wine? Okay. <laughs> for me, I was told from the get go. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to these officers, Miss Anderson. Don't do it. And guess what Miss Anderson did? You didn't. She didn't. But Miss Anderson did slip up one time. Yeah. So you did. But nobody knew about that one time but me and that particular person. So just because you and G.O.D. only knew, that mean you yeah. were still able No, to but see, but you got to know how to work it. You know, you got to know how to finesse it. You can't be so in you your just feelings. Keep your to yourself, right, you, know? you can't be in your feelings. Because that's the thing with people talk to other officers or dispatchers talk to officers, they're getting their feelings. Like, some officers might want to just hit it and quit it. A dispatcher might want to just hit it and quit it. But then one of y'all going to get in y'all feelings, and that's what the problem comes. That's why I yeah. don't recommend it. When new girls come, I say, hey, y'all, let me go and tell you this. You Hold wrong. on, excuse me. So you have a conversation with new people? I do. And what you tell them? I please? just say this. I know y'all are grown, and you're going to do what you want to do. I don't recommend talking to the officers that's just me you know but you're gonna you're grown you're gonna do what you want to yeah. do i just be looking out for them because a lot of me new and naive and this is a whole new let world them, let them hit it it's a whole new world and and when you tell them that because um, they're not gonna they listen gonna to you yeah. yeah they're not listening they still they're do still it. gonna do what they want to do and as adults that's what we do we mm -hmm. do what we want to do and it's i mean even your mom can tell you hey don't do this and you're gonna do what you want to do what you want to do when you when you you ever did it Unfortunately. Okay. Unfortunately, I have. Would I ever do it again? Absolutely the fuck not. The fuck? Absolutely. I did it the, the one fuck. time, but like I said, nobody knew about it but me and him. To this day, nobody at the department ever knew. And my I other knew. one, it was, <laughs> yeah. My other one, we both were gone from that particular department. We were not. Because my thing is, I tell yeah. people, I don't mess with my coworkers. What they say, don't shit where you eat or whatever it is. I don't right. do it. I don't, I don't shit where I eat. But yeah. But we've done it. But we wouldn't recommend it. No. It is not <laughs> highly zero stars. <laughs> well, in my case, I don't do zero stars. We we had a really good time. You know what? One one was not necessarily zero stars. I just don't recommend it. Um, I and I hate to hear people tell new people not to because I just feel like nobody can tell me what to do. I'm sorry, I don't say not to. I just advise against. And against I say that. Okay. I advise against. Because that's not even something I bring up to new people. If you, I mean, especially because we, most agencies don't have a fraternization policy. They don't. There's you can do what nothing. you want to do. You can do what you want to do. Now, <laughs> now, will you live to regret it? Maybe. Maybe. But there are some success stories. There are. There are I know a people couple. have gotten married. We you know, know. We know a married couple. Yeah. That, that's... In my department now and in my old department. So. Mm, good for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, never again. To my one, if you're watching this, I miss you. <laughs> he was school people, though. He was. He I still is school people. Um, but yeah, it goes down, y'all. Like four flats on a Cadillac. Four of them. 
Okay. But the thing is, you got some ladies that come to do this job just to meet officers. Mm. Um, or you got some that just sleep around with a lot of them. We can, in my true. old department, we call them badge bunnies. That's true. I don't know what they call them in my new department. Whores. <laughs> no. What about the officers, though? Because we we talking about dispatchers because we're dispatchers. Yeah. But there are a lot of, and this is why I just advise against mm -hmm. dispatchers or anybody dating mm -hmm. officers. I ain't saying officers are all bad. They're not. No, ninety nine percent. Um, but I would say ninety five. Yeah, it's a it's a good percentage of good guys. You got some good guys out yeah, there. Yeah, some good guys. Some I'm good not guys gonna say there. that all of them are all bad, yeah. but a lot of them, y'all, because once they put on a badge, I don't care how broke this ninja is, I don't care how many kids he got. He got the uniform on. He put the uniform on, baby. His check getting ate up with child support, and now you see. Is a man in uniform. Is a man in uniform. Now what's that in? Some of y'all be looking good. Some of them be fine as a fool. <laughs> Some of y'all be looking good, but listen, but, I ain't gonna tell you that. Yeah, it's not worth it, Miss Ceiling. <laughs> I do not recommend <laughs> zero stars. Zero stars. I wouldn't recommend it at all. I wouldn't, you know, but if you do it, I've seen some so fine sometimes. I'm not even mad at you for doing it, yeah. but I wouldn't do it, you know. Yeah. I, I'm gonna say this if you do it, just keep it to yourself. And make sure he keep it to himself. Yeah. Man, that's, you can tell me, though. You can tell us. I keeps it. No, but um, I've just never seen many successful. We have seen a couple success but stories. Not a lot. But not a whole lot of success stories when it comes and to. Let me throw another thing out there. If you're a dispatcher in any department and you mess with one officer and then another one comes, and another one comes, they're not coming because you're pretty. They're coming because that other they officer heard told them about that you're you. easy. And all you got to do is say a couple words to this one, and she's going to give you what you want. So if you're getting a plethora of men trying to get you, it ain't for your looks. Well, they say it ain't for your beauty. It ain't your beauty. It's your booty. It's your booty. They're because And I've seen it. I witnessed it. And I and I had to tell you, you got to humble people sometimes. Baby, you ain't cute. That ain't why he's trying to talk to you. The new job, when I, the new job, like I ain't been there five years, but when I first came over here, somebody that was in a leadership position at that time did the same thing. And I was kind of offended when I walked in the door because she was like, CC, make sure you ain't going to these fire stations. First of all, who the fuck do I look like? That's not me. And, but you don't know me well enough to even all, think all that, that I might. was. Just be careful. Something like that. Or not. Because when I did my orientation through, mm -hmm. you know, how we would come I in know. and do that day or whatever, it was like, there's no fraternization policy. Just, you know. You can do what you want to do. Do what you want. The reality is, even though there's no fraternization policy, there's nobody that I'm interested in at this department. But that's a good thing about working at a bigger department is we don't get to see all the guys. Oh, yeah. And they come in there sometimes at our old department we saw them all the time. We had no choice. Yeah, they were with us. And you kind of grow relationships with them. You do. They become, a lot of them are like your family. Yeah, you like grow to relationships. This day, yes. I have, I have so people I you can consider brothers. So that's a, a plus about being in a bigger department. And uh, also, a lot of times, I won't friend them on social media. Yeah. Because I don't want any of the drama. And it's a lot of people that like being friends with a lot of the people that they work no, with. No, because I'm probably going to talk about you sometime. <laughs> I won't talk about you on social media. I don't care to do that. But... I might not say your name, but you're going to know it's you. <laughs> I don't even care to make a status about you. But, uh, yeah, stay away. There are some women who come in with the distinct um, ideology that they want mm -hmm. a badge. They want a man in a badge or a woman in a badge or whatever, whatever your preference however, is. Whatever, however, but that's but, not a um, good... Mm -mm. Yeah, and I and I only speak from experience. <laughs> it's... Um, I don't care what your maturity level is. It's just not a good idea. It's not. It's just not a you good know, idea. You um, know, it looks good on paper maybe, but it ain't... Oh, it looks... It, it don't look good in real life. It's a lot of things that are fun or good about it, but it... it 
Just now, if you don't yeah. have a good time and lead that good time, yeah, then you probably could do it. But if you don't know how to just have a good time and go about your business, it ain't for you. And I won't say that because some of them do turn out to be relationships, y'all. But everybody did. Let's just be real. Everybody that puts on a uniform ain't got good sense. And this is point blank, period. Everybody passed their psych eval. I don't know how you did it. Manipulation. But, yeah, a lot of Manipulation. y'all. Manipulation. It's some, y'all, it's some real narcissists in these badges. Mm. I ain't talking, you know, we're not going to down y'all just, too bad. But some, some of them just love the job because they love the attention. Yes. They love all of that. They love it. Yes. And that goes for dispatchers too. They love the attention from the officers or the officers. They love the attention from the dispatch and the yes. public. They just have to be in uniform and have to have that badge because those women love those men. Some of them want attention from everybody. Mm-hmm. And they get it because of the, you know, mm-hmm. the role that they're in. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's not worth the headache a yeah, lot of the time. It's a headache. It's a headache. It, it can be. You know, but just be careful. That's all we're saying. If it's you're all. going to do it, be mature. Do it maturely. Be able to Keep do it Keep your business way. to yourself. Right. And, you know, just real talk. Talk to anybody who's done it, and they're probably going to recommend you not do it. Zero stars. Zero stars. Do not recommend. Um. <clears throat> I want to talk about something that we did touch on a little while ago uh, on the first uh, installment of this Dispatcher series. Give it to me. But we're talking about just, and when we say old head dispatchers, y'all, we just talking like we talk to each other. Honestly, we old heads at this point. And we are, because we've been doing this over 10 years. I've been doing, what, 12, 15 for you? Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of them have a lot of... And this is just going back to the previous discussion. A lot of them have a preconceived notion that they're entitled. Mm -hmm. So even when newer dispatchers come in and just say that they are, um, then even if they're not telling it to these people, a lot of these older dispatchers sit back and they watch and they talk. Y'all, dispatch environment is one of the most gossipy it's a word because I just made it up. It's one of the most gossipy environments it you will ever work in. You can hear some in. tea up in there. You're going to hear tea every Sip day. That tea. You're going to hear something. You're going to hear tea every day. Mm-hmm. But I um, I think that old head dispatchers, the ones that, because I was trained by a good old head dispatcher at the first agency that, As was I. that we work for. And to this day, I am as detail oriented as I am when it comes to covering my ass and documenting and things like that because of what she instilled in me. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a lot of old head dispatchers. That's just good old head dispatchers anymore. No. We have a lot of old head dispatchers that are abusive verbally because I mean even if they're not saying it to the person if you're saying something in the vicinity of a person that can hear you talking about them you are out of order in a workplace and a lot of them just are so grumpy they so mad they come to work but mad. for me and this is in life and anything if you're not happy somewhere leave take yourself from remove yourself from the situation don't make everybody else miserable because you miserable remove yourself from that situation but they're not, not to going anybody anywhere that. no they're not. not going anywhere. No. They're going to stay right there and be miserable and try to make everybody else miserable. Misery loves company, and that's for sure. And they are some of the meanest people sitting in their dispatch room. And I don't know <laughs> I don't know if it's because they are tired. Um, but if you that tired and you that miserable, yeah, go on and, go on and let it go. Go on and hang up your dispatch ears. Go on and hang it up. Let it go. Yeah. Maybe it's not for you anymore. Let it go. You burnt out. Burnout is real, though. It is Burnout real. is real. Um, I think that a lot of people don't understand what burnout looks like, but a lot of times burnout looks like fatigue. You are cranky. Um, exhaustion. Uh, all kinds of stuff. To me, when you just come in there mad every day, you it's time for you to go. Stay at the house. 
but a lot of them can't afford to stay at the house. And or perk up. Or perk up. But a lot of them aren't made to. Because, again, we talking about, um, just like I was saying earlier, when you're heard and not seen, people tend to forget about you. True. And so a lot of times in the dispatch environment, yeah, we're heard and, and you know, they tell us we do a good job or you might get recognized for a Lifesaver Award or, you know, different things like that. And that's always cool. Um, we don't do what we do for recognition because a lot of times we don't get the rec- half of the recognition that, that we, we should actually get, yes. should. But um, not that we do our job for recognition, but there are a lot of lives that we save, you know. You can't win them all. You can't save them all. Um, but, yeah. And I think we just talking about a lot of stuff as far as dispatching is concerned because we know that the general public doesn't know the they behind the con- scenes. They of think we dispatch. do one thing and that's not what we do. We do a lot of things. So. We do a lot of different things. We do a lot of different things. Um Mika, what is one thing that you would say to a new dispatcher that was considering coming to your agency about the job itself overall or how would you prepare them for the job itself? You just, just like before they walk in your center and see anything and see any screens. Prepare yourself. <laughs> prepare the others. I mean, cause when you go in here, it'd be like when people walk in there, they see all those computer screens. They be, it overwhelms people. Because you're sitting at that desk mm-hmm. and you got, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. you got like seven, eight screens in front of you. So you got to prepare yourself. You know, you want to be looking, you, you ain't got to utilize them all at the same time every time, but there has been a time where you got to utilize mm-hmm. them. So just prepare yourself, you know. Um, prepare yourself to be overwhelmed daily. Yeah. Prepare yourself to be overwhelmed. Prepare nobody else to understand your job. And I like to tell people, um, there's no crying in this match. I don't say that to nobody, but if somebody does cry, then I know that the job is not for you. It's not for them. If they cry, they get too mm. sad, too attached. I know the job ain't for them. Okay, friend, have you ever saw this uh, new dispatcher maybe in training that's not really responding to training, not really retaining? Yes. If <laughs> Not really retaining anything, but then as a last-ditch effort, they kind of try to blame you oh, yes, for not. Oh, yes, yes. I call it like the movie Groundhog Day. When you got somebody who ain't retaining, every day you come to work, it's the same thing. Oh, and over. I'm not so Bill bad. Murray, so I can't do it. I'm not getting paid to do it. So it's Groundhog Day for me. When you come to work and everything is brand new every day, the same. It's just, same I showed you just yesterday. When you come back, I got to show it to you again today. But you know what? It's that just shows me <clears throat> if you're new in a dispatch environment and you come back every day. And every day is like Groundhog Day. You're not studying at home. It ain't even about the study. You ain't retaining. You're not but retaining, I'm you, but you can't be studying. Where we work at now, the pay is very nice. It's much so nicer than where we were. People see the money. They don't see anything else. Okay, because that's a good one. Because a lot of times they come in interviews and then they say that they can do shift work and this. That that's and the a third. big thing. That's with shift huge. Work. If you have children, you have this. That listen, I was raising five kids, switching shifts every three months. I didn't ask for no special treatment. No, I did easy. what I did. So if you come into this job, whether you got one or seven kids, you told these people that you can work any shift. And with these jobs, you can get moved at any time. Yeah, and I think that's the problem It that shouldn't I be have. a problem for you if you came in here and told these people that you can do it. That's what but you just now. wanted the job and saw the job, the opportunity, and the money. So you wanted it. But now you can't work any yeah. shift. We are not. We can't give you special treatment because you got a kid. And that's the we, only everybody thing got I hate kids. is that everybody, nine times out of ten, everybody in my 
office has children with right. the exception of maybe one. Oh, let me go back. Mm-hmm. I say I raised five kids. Fellas, they are not all my kids. None of them are yours. They're not my children. I raised them. Mm-hmm. Okay? Don't look at me like that. Go ahead. <laughs> no, but I have a kid, too. My child has special needs. And it's like, you know, some people get off making excuses. I've never ain't don't make no had excuse. an excuse. Mm-mm. So I don't understand when people come in the door with all these demands and wants and I have to be all... Who are you? Yeah, because this does not work like that. Yeah. This does not revolve around one person. This place is a 24-7, 365 day a year operation. This place has Somebody to be made. always has to be in here. We ain't never closed. Whether we like it or not. And that's the nature of the beast. And I don't care what dispatch center you go to across the land and country, you are not going to find one that's closed on any day of the week. My people said, you out for so-and-so holiday, baby. That means nothing. one one don't close, love. Yeah, holidays don't If it's my off day, yeah. Work. You know, mm-hmm. if I took off, yeah. But other than that, I'm, I'm in that work. thing. I'm here. Mika, y'all, y'all have no idea. Me and Mika have worked so much. But I think I have worked enough in the last couple weeks to really retire. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't know what to do. Like, literally, I was telling Mika the other day, I am exhausted. That's what dispatching looks like. Mm-hmm. It is time away from your family. Yes, on holidays. Yes, on weekends. You're working. It's mandatory. Overtime. Oh, goodness. You thinking you finna go home at 10. That's you why I be doing this. a.m. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be drinking. So, you know, it's it's a lot. And so if you're not ready for mandatory overtime, you're not ready for the hours, if you're not ready for that, this is not the job not for, you. for you. And you can't come in here and pick what shift you want. That's not how this job works. Yeah, and don't let the men in uniform fool you because a lot of times that ain't, you know, this. if you're coming to a job and that's what you're looking for, if you come into this job in this day and age and that's what you're looking for, go find something else to do because, number one, it's going to be a headache trying to learn this job. If you just come in looking for a man or looking for a woman, don't waste nobody's time. And if you are a new person and you are going through training and you feel like it's not for you, at any point Let you feel like it's know. not for you, say something. Don't waste time. Don't waste people's time. Don't waste these people good money. They train you a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of man hours go into that. And if you're training or you're on the floor training, where we work, we are also it is working. Mental uh, training it's is mental. mental. So me training a new person is mental on it's, it's it's mentally draining on me as well. I don't mind it because I love helping people and I love seeing my work being done and them getting mm-hmm. it. But if you're not getting it and you know you're not getting it, let somebody know or let me know if I can need to change my technique for you. You know, maybe this may help you learn. You know, but if you know this ain't the job for you, you need you to say, say something. something to somebody. You gotta say something because it needs to be said. And also with dispatching again, either you got it or you don't. So if you're a dispatcher and you a dispatcher and you got a trainee, you already know whether they're going to make it or not. Within that first two, three weeks, you know whether they're going to make it or not. I mean, you can't tell them they're not going to make it, but you know. But in my case, I still do everything in my power to give you the tools you need to succeed. I'm going to do that. I'm going to ask you, do you need this? Do you need that? How your day was? What can I change? What will help you? I'm going to do all that. I do all of that because I want you to make it. So we came from a smaller agency and that was, I'm trying to, whenever I'm talking to Mika and I'm not in front of the cameras and I'm not having to worry about censoring myself, I always say the name of the agency that we used to work with. So I'm really trying not to say that. Um, But when we worked at our old agency, it was more of a family kind of feel. Like we all. I miss that. I miss that a lot. I do. I mean, if I could make what I make here, they have that environment. Well, they most I, of the people that were there, we're the yeah, they gone now. now. But we, re, it was like a family thing. We laughed, we joked, we checked. We oh my did god, everything. we cooked. We did. Yes, you know, we did we just, everything. We were all about team. It now was my dispatcher team. family. 
now the shift at our work, we try to do that. Like we try to cook on Sundays, or we do this, so we really do good. we do stuff like that. So uh, y'all don't don't care about anything, you know. But <laughs> but we try to do that. So I, that that was a big plus. So but it still wasn't my old agency. Yeah. Because you it's get to see the guys you work agency, with. Yeah. I've been here at this apartment almost seven years, and I couldn't Don't tell half you the half the people here, a third of the people here. You know, the ones I know, I know, and we cool. them my boys or the females I work with. them my girls. But I don't know these people. People come in there now, and, they, and the other day somebody came in there, and my other girl was like, who was that? I said, well, she's going to ask you who it is, you know? <laughs> he knew who I was. Oh, he said, right. that's, that's Shamika back there. I was like, yeah, it's me, but who, who are, are you? you? You know, Friend, so. hold on. Do you think he was asking because you getting famous a little bit on TikTok? No, he re- they know my voice. I got gotcha. you. So he knew it was me you. from my voice. I gotcha. But uh, yeah, he knew my voice, and I was like, "Who are you?" And he told me, and I knew who he was, and I said, "Oh, okay." Now I see the face of yeah. uh, the voice would have made me piss me off. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> you know, <laughs> but we laughed about it or whatever. But it was just funny yeah. because I didn't know who he was. One of my coworkers texted me and asked me, she said, who the hell is that? He knew who I was. And another one called across the room and said, Mika, who is that? So we didn't know who he was. Baby. So, you know, it's I like to know who I'm working with. Yeah. So. I miss the old agency because of the family feel, but I, um, I enjoy where I am now because it's more challenging. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I like the challenge, but, and I like the money. But I do miss everything about the environment. Now, I don't know about under their new chief and all of that, but um, the environment that I left. Yeah, was I just a really wish they would have paid better. Now, they oh, pay gosh, better yeah. now. But yeah, it still don't gotten, equate to what no. we make. They've gotten raises. They've gotten raises, and I'm so happy for them to have mm-hmm. gotten they raises. They deserve them. Yeah. They do. They deserve more. Because they work hard. Smaller agencies work so hard. And I'm going to tell you, any officers that leave their agency and go to any other agency can they outwork know. any of the officers in Yeah, because agency, you do more in smaller, smaller agencies. But again, they deserve, in our old department, they deserve more money. Yeah, if you're did. looking at this, give them some more money. Give them some more money yeah. on top of the raise they just got. Yes, give them because some Because nobody understands. What dispatchers go through. No, because you know what? People downplay our jobs all the time. And but it's cool. The main ones who ever... downplay it couldn't do it. Yeah, they could. But a lot of our guys that do come in or a lot of the um, administration that come in, they say all the time, we could never. Yeah. (laughs) We could never. Because it's hard. I mean, it's like orchestrating a a whole ball in less than two minutes. You're the brains, the nervous system of the operation. Because you literally have to get things right 100% of the time. Because the blame going to come back on you. Oh, for sure. That's why my old lieutenant, he's always said, CYA, cover your ass. And anybody looking to go into dispatching, that's going to be the name of the game for you. You have to cover your ass because nobody's going to cover it for Document you. Document everything. Everything. Document it. Everything. With your calls, document it so you can get that timestamp. If a certain uh, higher up told you to do something with a call, put it in that call. So when they open mm-hmm. it back up, they see that you did it because this because person you were told asked you to, to do, do it. it. So just document it. Mm-hmm. And we're not saying, I love what I do as far as what I do. Uh, we're not saying it's bad being dispatched. We have really fun times. We have had really fun times doing it, laughing, <laughs> joking, everything. But we do. You know, you have sometimes you like, damn. Yeah. I hate this place. But that's what anywhere. So. Yeah. I think any job you have the stress of the job. Mm-hmm. Um, and dispatching is a little different. I actually knew somebody personally who had old agency who had tried to go and work in dispatch. And she told me she was like, I could not. I could not do it. She was like, I quit. I told them I wasn't able to. Everybody and it's just do not. That. It's not for everybody. Um, it's not your white collar job. <laughs> it's not. But like I said, you hear interesting stories. But you do. Some days you just. Some days you might not even do nothing. Like 
barely do anything. But some days they work in your ass from the time you sit down to the time you leave. The time you leave. I it just depends. I do too. And then I'm going to say this. I take that back. I but don't I like them because they go them. by fast. Because they do. They go by so fast. They go by Before so fast. Before you know, you be like, dang. Yeah. It's end of shift already, it you know. So end of shift. Um. But yeah, it's a lot. I it's guess hard. it's a lot we could say about dispatch. We could have fifteen episodes on dispatch. We you know? actually would need to know like what y'all want to know because we've been doing this so long yes. that we don't think you know stuff we're y'all in find it. interesting. It's yeah. just everyday stuff to us because I went like if a dude try to talk to me like what do you do I'm like I'm a nine one oh well, I know this and I bet you yeah da 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 and I'd be like it's it's just it's work, work. <laughs> it's work. So it's just work, you know, but yeah, some things the public definitely will need to know. Please, if you don't know anything else, know your location and be location, patient with location. your dispatcher because whatever question she's asking you, even though they might seem mundane to you or they might seem like she's taking up too much of your heat or she is taking up too much of your time. Answer them, folks. They doing their job and it's all to ascertain what all equipment we need to send for Because we your just situation. trying to help you because you called us for yeah, help. Yeah, we're trying to help you. And we're just trying to help you. So know where you are, you know. Just please always know where you are. Please, please. know where you are. Um, if you're new in the dispatch environment, might want to hold off on any situationships in your workplace number one learn that place learn first. it first because you don't know who else he don't talk to it now because once you done did it you done did it it's so like, just wait a minute give it a minute you know even if you find give it a minute yeah because he might not be fine after you find out how many kids he got oh and how much child support he paying well he definitely fine definitely fine yeah or how many dispatch you mess with or how many other of your coworkers, but if you still want to go there with them and just eh, 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 you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. you know but you could do that <laughs> but still don't tell nobody because yeah, keep be your business to yourself just he keep, tried to talk to me yeah just he keep your business to your yourself. business yeah and nine times out of ten unless the d was just that good it ain't worth it it ain't it ain't worth it, cause yeah. Cause we all like a little good D, but I'm just saying. Yeah, but get it away from your job. Mm-hmm. Get it away from your job. I pride myself on that. I'm so glad that I've done that for 14. What? Well, in that 14 years, you know, I've done it for most of them. You know what I'm saying? But, I've done it for most of them. Yeah. What you trying to say? I didn't say anything. I just say yeah. <laughs> I just like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's a guilty conscience. <laughs> I said it was, yeah. No, I was just kidding. But, but for real. Just be careful. You know, um, be careful. Oh, we I could really tell some stories, but I have to spare these people, so we're not. She really go could. There. She really could. Yeah. And I'm a good I'm a good person. Look, when you have to say you a good person, are you really a good person? I just talked about that. You gotta let me tell you you a good person. Yeah, you can't like, tell me you that know, you a good person. Because I'm a good person, so I'm not gonna blow up their spot or anything. But you yeah. know, but spots can be blown. Spots can be blown. But uh yeah. Spots can be blown. Just know that when you work in dispatch, you're gonna have great moments, you're gonna have bad moments. If you work with like I said, it's ninety eight percent women, so you're gonna have some toxic Did hating you know the, the women. Statistic on it? Oh, I did it in my head. Okay. Yeah. Uh Shamika's spoken facts. <laughs> proven facts. These are Shamika's proven facts. Um women are gonna hate on you just oh, for being you. Oh my goodness. Um, old head dispatchers are gonna be entitled and we mad-ish. got people in dispatch where <laughs> if an officer come in there, they have a fit a conniption if he don't speak to them. You know what I'm saying? Um just because the officer talking to you don't mean that he wants you or that you want him. I mean, that's that's for the hating ladies in there. You know, just because he talking to me don't mean he want me. I know I look good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's any man. Like, why do you assume that just because he's talking to me? You because think, you feel a way. Because you, cause you think I'm cute. She thinks you're cute. You think I'm cute. Yeah. So you're going to have women that hate on you, feel a certain way about you, talk about you, and not know it's going to get back to you, but it did. Um... You gonna know all of that stuff, and it's okay. And if your desire is truly to help people, help the citizens, this is a good job for help you. your personnel, then yeah, 
dispatching is a good job. And depending on what agency um, you is. Um, oh, my goodness. There's it some good on, money in it. I'm going to tell you this. It, depending on the agency you work for, mm-hmm. there's some good money in it. If, if you work for the wrong agency, because we work for years getting I worked nothing. Four years too long in my last location. Yeah. Because yeah. I was making the same pay. And then when I got to where I am now and I got my first uh, check, I started to whip my own ass. I said, what the fuck is this? Yeah. What is what is this? You know, I'm oh like, what God. the fuck is this? I, yeah. It doubled, damn near tripled. Yeah, it's not like we're rich, but we no. live. Um, I live okay. And if I didn't like shopping so much, you probably could see a little more money on me. <laughs> But, but I like yeah. looking good. But don't get in dispatching just for the money. Right. Now, when you look at me, you think I got a lot of money because I look like it. But don't let that fool you. I don't want you young men thinking I got no money trying to talk to me because I ain't got nothing for you. Oh, no. Not for no man. Uh, but, yeah, good dispatchers. Um, y'all are needed. Y'all oh, are needed my and wanted. Uh, I don't say we have a high turnover, right? Cause we don't hire enough people, but... I think that um, we, I don't have to turn up. It's just like making it through. It's making it through the the training. But I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna pat myself on the back because I did my first, first, first training class on Ooh, my own. I was over the training, and four out of six of my people made it, which is a Come big through. feat in the dispatch uh, world. That's so, huge. That is huge. That's huge. Because usually, if you got six people, maybe one or two may make it. Two. But I two did the most. four, and three of them were not previous dispatchers. So that's good. You know what? I always find that those make the best dispatchers. Yes. They really so do. I did. Re- I, I pat myself on the back, me and my team, because I'm not going to do it by myself, but. It was my first time being over a class, and I was, I did pretty good. And so. let me tell you something. If you're a new dispatcher at a new agency, and you're coming from an old agency, don't talk about what y'all did at your last agency. Because we don't care. Because we don't care. Um, no agency cares because one agency might have 10 codes, the other one don't. You know, and depending on radio lingo, they may want you to say certain things. At this that one, was the hardest for me. That was hard for me to stop saying stuff Unlearning. I had said for eight years. I had to stop saying it. Yeah, and it's like that's not how you say. It. Well, I'm sorry. Give me a minute. Give me. A you know, second. give me a minute. I give you a second. And we know a lot of people won't be able to resonate with these two episodes. Law enforcement, first responders, dispatchers. But a lot of people would like to know the ins but and outs of knowing it, so. the ins and outs, especially, um, and if y'all have any questions about um, other things related to dispatching, y'all let us know. Please here. leave them below, whatever. Mm-hmm. Inbox us, email us, anything you want to do yeah, so we'll we can make another answer for uh, y'all. episode about it. So just please let us know. We love yeah. talking. So. We love talking to y'all, and we want to know, um, again, oh, beginning of the year, we're definitely going to, we're going to, we're going to do better. We're going to do better. We're going to try to be less busy. So we haven't been going live as much as we had in the past. But life been really been working. We've been working. Life been on us a little bit. Oh, my God. So like, forgive us. Charge it to our head and not our heart in the words of the pastor. Charge it to my job. <laughs> charge to the man. Charge it to the man. So, or the woman or whoever. Whoever's in charge. Who is ever, whoever's in charge. But, um... If y'all are not following us on our socials, do so. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, click the bell on YouTube for notifications. That way, when we post, y'all are aware and we're friend talk mm-hmm. um, on YouTube, friend underscore talk underscore podcast on Instagram, friend talk on Snapchat, and friend talk podcast on TikTok and Facebook. Free and talk. Mm-hmm. On so, Facebook, so. Yeah, follow us on our socials. And if there's anything else y'all want to know about. And you can um, follow our individual pages on Facebook as well. Oh, yeah. Cicely, I'm Shamika Anderson. Cicely Thomas. I don't really like giving my name. They're going to find you anyway. You're going to be famous. <laughs> well, find, find me on there. Um, I'm real private, y'all. As much as I love to talk. I am so out the way. Like, I stay out the loop. I'm going to do better.
better though. We Friend trying to get to do me. better. We trying to get to do better. Cause yeah. I told we trying to get us out there, baby. Friend told me I need to do more. Yeah. And I'm not really a social media person, so I'm gonna really try to put myself out there in the new year. Yeah, we are gonna try to eat. Something gotta blow up for us. So yeah. I'm gonna say this. I like to stay out the way because I am so opinionated, and I know everybody don't think on the same level as me. When I get to talking, I'll go deep, and I, you know, I try to stay surface level because I need to maintain employment right now. Amen. But there's a lot you that I will cheating. say. <laughs> Let me say this: when I can leave this job, there's a lot that I'm gonna say about a lot of things. Okay. And guess what? There you have it. There you have it. Thank y'all for joining us again for another episode of Friend, Friend Talk Time. Podcast. Y'all, y'all like the setup. We are in a different space. We, we need to give y'all a little more, you know, little, yeah. little kickback. You know, maybe we'll do a charcuterie or something. We don't know. Yeah. But so. anyway, um, y'all, we you say anything about... Um, Apple Podcasts. If y'all not following us on um every podcast platform. Yeah, every podcast yes. platform, y'all, please do that. And write us a review. We would love to hear from y'all. Yes, please. And thank you. It's, yeah. So we're trying to grow the channel. Y'all stick with us. Help us. Give us some feedback. Give us your comments. Questions. And, um, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Drop some comments and some suggestions if y'all want to. Right. But anyway, y'all, we're going to wrap up this episode of Friend Talk Podcast. Of Dispatcher Talk Part Do. <laughs> she Part like to say. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Friend Talk Podcast with your host, Cicely and Shamika. And we'll see y'all next time. We will. Peace. Bye. Friends, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We appreciate each and every one of you for taking time out to spend with us because we know y'all could have been anywhere else. Help us grow our community and expand our reach. So if you're not already, please like, follow, and subscribe to keep up with us on YouTube, Facebook, and Snapchat at Friend Talk. That's F-R-E-N Talk. Also, keep up with us on IG at friend underscore talk underscore podcast. That way you'll be notified when we upload our weekly videos and to stay abreast of what we got going on. Of course, you can stream the podcast wherever podcasts are available. And please be sure to subscribe to the podcast feed. Also, set your alarms to tune in every other Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for new episodes of Friend Talk. Over here where friends be what? Talking. Talking.